ABC 17 News investigates how safe Columbia pools are ahead of the summer. Workers from the Columbia Boone County Health Department were out inspecting public and private pools across the city today. Our ABC 17's Hannah Falcon joins us live from Columbia after looking into those inspection reports. Hannah, Columbia's three public pools are opening soon. That's right, Megan. While these gates are closed right now, this pool will be open on Tuesday. But first, before it can open, it has to pass an inspection from the health department. Chlorine at safe levels, uh, pool rules posted in our concession stand, making sure that we're practicing safe food handling. Sydney Philpott with Columbia Parks and Recreation is preparing for a busy summer pool season. But before swimmers can enjoy the city's public pools, they have to pass an inspection from the Columbia Boone County Public Health Department. Sarah Hum with the health department tells me pools that fail an inspection have to close immediately. For example, if the chlorine levels are too high, we'll work with them to make sure that the chlorine levels are back to a safe safe level and which you know we can come out you know the next day and test. The Lake of the Woods pool was inspected yesterday, but the report shows that it has unsafe chlorine levels and must be reinspected before it can open on Tuesday. How do you fix an issue that's reported through an inspection? Our maintenance team is working on it. Um, Lake of the Woods hasn't been open since 2019. There's things to happen whenever things whenever it hasn't been open for years. So but our maintenance team is on it and they'll have it ready by the time that we open on Tuesday. And Phil Watt tells me that this pool at the Lake of the Woods was supposed to be re-inspected today. We are still waiting for that updated inspection. Reporting live in Columbia, I'm Hannah Falcon, ABC 17 News. Hannah, thank you. The Albert Oakland and Douglas pool inspections are not yet available, but we will have information on their past inspections, you can head over to our website, abc17news.com.